it will come out one day. Sure it will. Sure it will. <laughs> I have been, uh... <laughs> I have been thinking about, uh... Reading the fanfiction, potentially. But I did delete it off of some websites because... And I don't love talking about this because this isn't a fun conversation for me. I had... I had some people apparently like going through all of my old stuff and then my Instagram and shit and then trying to find other things and it was a little bit creepy so I ended up deleting a lot of things. Um, <laughs> I hope you will respect that. Um, <laughs> it's there's nothing there's nothing too crazy. It's just a little embarrassing because you know it, I wrote a lot of fan fiction when I was eighteen and that was that was that was eleven years ago. That was 11 years ago. That was a very long time ago. Um, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just telling you now, aren't I? I used to write uh, Hunger Games fanfiction. Very, very uh, violent Hunger Games fanfiction. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just going to tell you guys. All right. So here's the story. When I was When I was 17 or 18, I can't remember how old I was, the Hunger Games came out. And little little Vivi, little Vivi was like, oh my god, this is this is so great. This is so this is this is my vibe. This is so edgy, and I'm so edgy. Like this totally fits me. So I got super into it, but I read it and I was like, you know what? This this isn't violent enough. This could be more violent. So I uh <laughs> I took to fan fiction and I immediately I immediately started writing uh, my own crappy little, you know, fan original games. Um, <laughs> and basically, uh, so my name, my name back then was Vividly Visceral because Visceral, uh, <laughs> Visceral was a word I learned about viscera, which is like blood and gore and stuff like that. I thought it was a really pretty word. I loved that. So in order to make it sound alliterate, like alliterative, alliter alliteration, alliteration, I picked vividly because I thought that it sounded nice. So uh, that was, that's why I'm vividly. That's why I'm vivid. That's why I'm vivid. <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty word. I love that word. I actually like, when I first heard that word, it was like a full on moment of like, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> that, that, damn, I love that word. So basically, I, t I take to fanfiction.net and I start, I start writing, I start writing violent, violent Hunger Games fanfiction. And I became somewhat popular. I actually had the longest Hunger Games fanfiction uh, for I think a couple of years even. I, ha I wrote 300,000 words for one. It was a very long series and I never finished it. I never finished it because in 2012, the movie came out and I hated it. I hated it. I was like, wow, this this movie not good for me, fam. So I just I just stopped writing. <laughs> um this is this is interesting to tell you guys because I feel like I don't talk about this with you a lot. I wanted to be a writer. Like I really, really wanted to be a writer. I had a lot of books that I started writing and never finished. Um I don't think I have any any left anymore because I did I did throw out all of my old electronics. Um, so a lot of my old writing has uh, been lost. It's gone now. I do remember what the stories were, but like, I never really got much further than like a chapter or two. Not just 300k, 350, really. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, so anyway, I made a lot of lovely, lovely friends back then. Um, anyway, so finger lines. Finger lines while I'm talking. I'm I'm just gonna have one while I'm lecturing you. Actually, just wait a minute. Just this one. I'm I'm lecturing you. Finger lines. Pew pew. <laughs> so, back then, please keep in mind I was very edgy back then. Very very edgy. I was 18. Um, I used to like write really gory scenes. Really gory scenes. So I liked I liked writing. Uh, really intense, bloody descriptions about what was happening to, like, their organs and their insides and, like, you know, I'd fuck up their eyeball or something. Like, you know, I, I liked writing that kind of stuff. I thought that... I don't know. I got a lot of enjoyment um, doing the descriptions because it sounded pretty. Like, you could be very flowery with your language. Um, 
<laughs> and so I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, anyway, I became somewhat known for writing super over the top gory shit. And at the same time, at the same time, I was really into Higurashi. I was really into Umineko. So like that played a strong part in my love of it. Oh, bad, <laughs> bad. Um, so basically, um, I became known as uh, the gore writer. And it also became a joke in in the community. They were like, oh, Vivi, Vivi's got a gore fetish. Vivi, Vivi's a gore fetishist. Gotta tell you this right now, personally, nah, not super into it. If you are, that's totally fine. That's up to you, man. If you're into it, you're into it. As long as you're not hurting real people, I do not give a single shit. If you're into the writing and whatnot, totally fine. Anyway, <laughs> so that was that was what I was into up until I was like, mm, how old was I in 2012? I just turned 20. I had just turned 20 and then, actually no, I think I was 19 when the movie came out. So by the time I was 20, I was done writing fan fiction. I was over it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was that was my original, my original uh, shit that I used to do. And before that, before that, and this is, this is the really embarrassing shit, which you cannot find. You need, you need special, You'd need to know the usernames, and I'm not going to tell you what they are. I'm not going to tell you. When I was 12, when I was 12 up until about 16, I wrote a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction. A lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction. And not just any Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction. Oh, no, no. We are talking. We are talking. Second person you with Seto Kaiba, you with Yugi, actually not Yugi, I didn't like Yugi, Joey, Kaiba, um, <laughs> Marek, that kind of thing. I would write, I would write, uh, really shitty second person romance stories that were super embarrassing, but I loved them. And I would like, I would crap one out like every two days. I was a powerhouse as a 13 year old. <laughs> I fucking loved it. I was just like, all right, time to sit down and write another chapter. Man, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Bakura. Bakura, I think, was actually my first crush as a kid, as a crush. I, I really, really liked Bakura. But I only liked, um, I liked Ryo, Ryo Bakura. <laughs> I didn't like Yami Bakura. Yami Bakura, at first, when I was a kid, I was scared of. But my, f oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so, <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, oh my god. You guys are making me unlock memories. You're making me unlock memories. What is my opinion on girls wearing nail extensions? I mean, if they like it, sure, but it means that they can't top. It means they can't top, okay? Don't, if a girl has a nail extension, don't let her top, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Basically, <sighs> okay, this is the last thing I want to say about this. Shit. Um, full term, you're gonna clip this? Please edit it. Edit out the weird shit. Or, like, if I'm thanking people and I'm going off on a tangent, please, please unclip that bit. Okay. So, uh, my. F I don't want to talk about this too in depth because I don't want to go TOS. I. Oh, shit, it's gone. Okay, there we go. The, the screen had gone dark. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> I, I am not asking for your own experiences. I'm going to drop this. We can we can laugh at it and then we're moving on, okay? Okay? Are we <laughs> Are we cowabunga on this? Are we cowabunga on this? You guys gotta tell me you're cowabunga on this. <laughs> I will not tell you until I get cowabungas in chat. Tell me now that we are cowabunga on not going on about this afterwards. <laughs> okay? Cowabunga, cowabunga, <laughs> cowabunga Batman. <laughs> good, good. Boing! Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> my first, my first ever experience with erotica as like on the internet was a Yami Bakura fanfic. <laughs> and I still remember it. Because when I was a kid, 
I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like I closed the window and I was so, I was so embarrassed. I was so anxious and like I scrubbed the internet history because I thought my parents would find it and that they'd be mad at me. <laughs> But then, but then, and this is, this is where we, this is where I'm going to follow up. I went back to finish reading it. <laughs> and that was what started it. That was what started it, Big Soupy. I'm being a big sip on the end of that. <laughs> and that was my first experience <laughs> with adult content. <laughs> was Yami Bakura. Ah... <laughs> uh. So yeah, I, I don't want to go into any further detail about that. We're not going to be gross or anything in chat, but I thought I would share this. <laughs>